Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Matwaychuk, and the purpose of today's intermittent reinforcement email message is to talk to you a little bit about adding to your life by having a mission. Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy aims to not only help you with your emotional disturbance, but actually to go beyond emotional disturbance and enhance the well-being, life satisfaction, and meaning that you derive from life. In our view, it's very important to have flexible and non-extreme thinking about the adversities of life and handle what fate throws your way in a healthy way. But we also want you to enhance your life satisfaction and pursue happiness and meaning using some of the ideas found within Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy. Albert Ellis often spoke about what he called a vitally absorbing interest. And he would indicate that humans are usually happiest when they have relationships with one or a few intimates and they also have a meaningful activity that gives their life structure. Now, it doesn't matter what that meaningful activity is. He would often say, build a business, political activism. It doesn't matter what it is. And at different points in your life, you're probably going to have different vitally absorbing interests. But what REBT aims to do is say to you, don't just work on thinking in a healthy way, but also work on building a life worth living, a more meaningful life. And you can do that by experimenting, figuring out how you can enhance your life. Now, what sometimes happens is people have rigid and extreme attitudes or unhealthy attitudes that undermine their ability to find what I call a mission in life. They may say it's too hard or I don't have enough money or my disability blocks me from having a vitally absorbing interest. And all these things may in fact make it harder for you to find ways to um, live a life worth living, but doesn't make them impossible. So we generally say that you have to pursue and experiment with new things. And at different times in your life, you may have different vitally absorbing interests or what I prefer is um, calling them a mission. I think we need a mission. We need reason to get up every day and make life fun, exciting, and meaningful. And what works for you may not work for me. So I would encourage you to look at today's intermittent reinforcement email message because REBT is a philosophically based cognitive behavior therapy that aims to not just alleviate emotional disturbance, but actually help you increase happiness, pleasure, and minimize pain. And one of the ways you can do that is by adventuring, setting goals, and pursuing those goals. Again, it doesn't matter what they are, but you better have them. So read today's intermittent reinforcement email message and get yourself a mission if you don't have one. If you do, see if it's working. If it's not working, it may be time to get a new mission. But in any event, I would suggest that you use some of the healthy attitudes found within REBT to get you moving towards a life worth living rather than waiting for death and just passively going through life, drifting through life. Setting goals is what REBT advocates and moving towards those goals, both short-run goals, middle-term middle goals, and even long-term goals. I would also like to remind you that every Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern in Philadelphia, 2 p.m. in the UK, and 4 p.m. in Bucharest, I hold a conversation with a volunteer and talk to them about how they may be upsetting themselves about a real problem they have. And we've been doing this for now well over 100 weeks. And 
It turns out that not only is it, does the volunteer benefit from these discussions on how REBT philosophical attitudes would apply to their problem, but the people watching the discussion also apply. I often have over 100 people, and I would encourage you to watch the conversation, and then at the end of 40 minutes, I take questions when you could make questions, comments, and criticisms about some of the ideas that you heard me talk about with the volunteer. Again, it's at 9 a.m. Eastern. It's on Zoom. That's 9 a.m. in Philadelphia, 2 p.m. in the UK, 4 p.m. in Moscow, 10 p.m. in Japan, and 11 p.m. in Melbourne, Australia. I hope to see you on Saturday, and I hope also that you find a mission in tenaciously pursue it in order to take full advantage of the one life you'll ever have to live.